Hey, it's Lisa G. Got a really big surprise for you guys tonight. So let's get started with the content. I'm thankful for you and five ways that gratitude can make you happier. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day stress of Thanksgiving festivities here in the U.S., especially on top of COVID. And there's definitely plenty of stress going around. Let me know if you guys are feeling it and how you're doing. I'm Lisa G in Santa Monica. Let me know where you're tuning in from. By the time we get to the end of this video, you'll have my top five ways that gratitude can help with some of the sadness, stress, and anxiety that the holidays can bring. And stick around, I'm bringing on a very special guest. I know gratitude really helps me and calms me down when things get stressful. You can't be angry or afraid and grateful at the same time. What a crazy time the last few years have been. I don't know about you, but with Kobe dying, our beloved sports star, the uncertainty of the lockdowns, and with the riots being right next door, I felt terrified. Even though the last two years have been a challenge for me, I'm grateful to have not just survived, but thrived and made a successful pivot in my business relatively quickly. Even though 2020 and 2021 was filled with stress, my YouTube channel getting stolen and the list of crazy keeps going on with a car accident, I love showing up with experts and sharing our stories of grit and resilience. I've found my strength in leadership, helping others and a strong gratitude practice. That's why I'm sharing this with all of you with the Thanksgiving season here, I wanna share my gratitude to all of you in my community, the people that I've met here online have become like family. And of course, I'm grateful to all of my friends, family and clients that have supported me along this crazy Corona coaster ride. COVID-19 was my inspiration to launch my podcast whole CEO to help you become unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. Simon Parsons, thank you. Let's all bounce back better than before with more grit and resilience. Join me every week for inspiration, especially if you feel lost, overwhelmed, or down at this time of year. Research suggests that being grateful is the most important aspect of the Thanksgiving season and that it can actually lift your spirits. From Costa Rica, I'm so glad to see you guys here. Awesome. What are you grateful for? Let me know. Tonight, I'm bringing on a special guest, but first, let's jump in with my five strategies to cultivate gratitude on a regular basis and the reasons you should do it. Here we go. Reason number one is gratitude reminds you of what really matters. The word gratitude is derived from the Latin word gratia, which means grace or gratefulness. Gratitude is being thankful. With gratitude, you can acknowledge all the good stuff in your life. Being grateful helps you connect to something larger than yourself, whether it's other people, nature, or a higher power. Let me know what you're grateful for. Reason number two is greater happiness. According to Harvard Health and positive psychology, gratitude is associated with greater happiness. Gratitude helps you feel positive emotions and good experiences. It improves your health, helps you deal with adversity and build strong relationships. 
Let me know if you guys have tried a gratitude strategy. I know some of you in here are. Reason number three, appreciation for what you have. I'm grateful for my friends, family, clients, those of you in my community, my health, and so much more. What are you grateful for? Gratitude is just a way for you to appreciate what you have instead of something that you're hoping for that will make you happier. Gratitude and appreciation around the holidays will help you refocus on what you have instead of what's lacking. The way I practice gratitude daily is during my meditation, I practice being thankful for what I have and grateful in advance for what I want to manifest. Strategy number four is to practice gratitude by writing a thank you note or an email, keeping a gratitude rock or journal. According to Harvard, another way you can make yourself happier and nurture your relationships too is by writing a thank you letter or an email, just expressing appreciation for someone that impacted your life. Send it or even better yet, tell them in person. Make a habit of sending a gratitude note regularly and don't forget, write a gratitude note to yourself too. David Hensel, a recent podcast guest, kept a gratitude rock in his pocket. I remember that from The Secret, too. And he kept it with his wallet and his keys to remind him daily of what he's grateful for. You can also keep a gratitude journal or reach in to an accomplishment jar when you need a happiness boost. Make a habit of writing down and sharing thoughts about what you're grateful for each day and watch your relationships improve. This happiness hack will remind you to count your blessings instead of thinking, when X happens, I'll be happy. Just pick a regular time like I do. Sit down and write about what went right or what you're grateful for. Be specific and think about how you felt when something good happened to you. And number five, meditation and prayer and mindfulness. Meditation involves focusing on the present moment without judgment. And for me, focusing on what I'm grateful for. I'm Lisa G. And that's exactly how you can hack happiness by practicing gratitude, because what you focus on expands. Oprah said, opportunities, relationships, even money flowed my way when I learned to be grateful no matter what happened in my life. I feel really blessed this year and excited for what's to come as I get to travel again, see my friends, clients, and family. With this year coming to a close, what are you excited to accomplish by the end of the year? Gratitude will help you get it. 